welcome to my channel this is your entrepreneurship tutor professor henry bliss of joma kenyatta university of agriculture and technology yes some of you my fans wanted me to talk about rural industrialization and this is the topic for my talk right now but first of all let's look at industrialization industrialization ideally means transformation from a focus on agriculture an economy moves away from focusing on agriculture and sets up manufacturing industries you know processing raw materials adding value and of course most industries are established in urban areas the result is rural urban shift and eventually rural poverty now rural industrialization industrialization is setting up rural manufacturing units it includes economic activities outside agriculture like the cottage tiny village and small scale manufacturing and the processing industries and the services of various kinds rural industrialization balances development so that we don't have everything concentrated in the cities in urban areas and theory has suggested a cluster approach to rural industrialization yes a simple definition of a cluster is the geographical concentration of industries gain advantage through co-location that is Bosworth and the Brown in 1996 a broader definition is the geographic concentrations of interconnected companies and institutions in a particular field that is Porter 1998 you can see an example here Gujarat we have clusters like plastic products cluster food processing cluster diamond cutting cluster and so on and so forth now in theory it is said that clusters can actually bring development and can bring concentration of development in one area and that could lead to industrialization look at this as an example that when we have entrepreneurial farmers look tomatoes being produced in a vertical vertical farming of tomatoes then we can actually this can actually lead to entrepreneurial processing and when that happens then like government agencies will now be attracted to the area call it taxation for example and so on and so forth supporting industries like the seed industry that feeds the farmer you know other agricultural clusters will come in you know education educational research and great organization will be attracted you know research innovation and so on and so forth other related clusters like tourism can start coming in you know supporting industry like packaging so it all needs to start with one step one idea one innovation one entrepreneurial idea and innovation and then a cluster forms many industries related providing inputs and using outputs will crop up that in theory and now wisa that's me your author 
in 2014 in his own word, Kibingei word, of Kimilili sub-county in the Bungoma County of Kenya, put that theory into practice. I approached oil crop farmers, specifically sunflower farmers. I provided the sunflower farmers with seeds they planted and I bought from them. I was doing this as university research way back in 2014. So having contracted farmers to plant sunflower, I got the seeds for processing. And when I processed the seeds, I got oil. Some of that oil went on to make soap, bar soap. Some of the oil was used for food. I did not make anybody oil, but I am told sunflower can still produce body oils. The cake that remained from pressing sunflower I made feed, animal feed, poultry feed, fish feed, yes. And because I had feed, my research, which was demonstrational applied research, made me start keeping a cow, milk cow. I kept poultry and I made fish ponds. So, the dung, the droppings, and the gut from the fishes. I put it in a digester and they produced gas, cooking gas, and even lighting my house. And the slurry that remained in the biodigester became organic manure, which I used in my own clothes and also supplied to the farmers who are farming for me sunflower. Remember, this was on research basis. And then, you know, the seed production, I had to buy proper seeds to give the farmers and therefore input feed producers. I had I put up a little workshop in my demonstration experimental farm that produced farm tools that went into the uh, used by the farmers. The Juakal fabricators. Indeed, you can see this press, this oil press, it's a manual oil press. Fabricators, Juakal started motorizing. The packaging, the oil had to be packed, the soap had to be packed, the feed were to be packed, so the packaging industry cropped up. And the local people involved in this activity made formed financial groupings called chamas. Now, the fish, the chicken and the cows made their own value chains, chicken value chain, fish value chain, you know, dairy value chain. I did not go beyond that, but indeed, in the area, those benefits started cropping up. And of course, when we press or we farm the sunflower, the stalks that remain behind, the leaves, composting we, we composted and got organic manure again so you can see that arising from just focusing on sunflower the sunflower created some local manufacturing local activities that now made it a cluster 
related the input the output you can see so yes my word got the test they tested that cluster approach but of course it was research i made a point yet this can again be replicated elsewhere in Kenya and beyond. For example, about 13 counties in Kenya can produce sunflower, sim sim or sesame if you want, soya beans, groundnuts, and these are oil crops. So, any of these Bungoma, Bustia, Homa, Beka, Chiado, Kakameka, Kilifi, Kwale, Lamu, Mandera, Meru, Mikori, Siaya, Trukana. These counties produce one or a combination of these oil crops, which means they can actually use the cluster approach to rural industrialization. Yes, rural industrialization converting agricultural products produces raw materials into finished goods arresting the rural urban drift and helping the rural economy to grow yes rural industrialization you have you have been listening to your entrepreneurship tutor professor Henry Buisa can reach me at buihim at gmail.com and 0722858507. I do train. I'm a certified and authorized IRO trainer. Training generate business ideas. Starting your businesses. Improve your businesses if you are written business and expand it. You can catch me on my LinkedIn social media, Facebook. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and indeed even TikTok. If you enjoyed it, please like it, share, subscribe, and indeed comment. Your comments will make me bring you more. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being my fan.